Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make 500 gold very easily even more than 500 if you're lucky by getting to the Black Forge and smelting Dark Iron As you can see, I've been buying for the last couple of weeks Dark Iron Ore of the auction house I only buy them when they cost less than 30 silver or 30 silver and many times they have been a lot cheaper than 30 silver but just for the sake of it let's just do let's just say they all cost 30 silver okay I had 800 so I spent 240 gold buying all this ore and at least on my server each bar cost <coughs> 8 gold so if I got 800 ores I'm gonna get a hundred bars times 8, I'm going to be able to make 800 gold minus the 240 that the ores cost I should be able to make 560 gold easily just by getting to the Black Forge with all that uh, Tycaron ore so if you don't have 18 bags I think I mean I'm pretty maxed out but you can just do it with less of course and maybe you just have to do a couple of strips or you just do it with less than then 800, 700, 600, whatever works for you. You need to be 60 for this. It can be any class. I'm gonna try to do it without using much of my class specific things. Um, anybody should be able to follow this, I believe. You just need this key to be 60 and to be able to, f to solo the fire guards, just a couple of fire guards. Like this one over here blazing fire guard I mean you can skip it but I prefer to kill it just to make sure so there we go anybody should be able to kill this guy it's really not a big deal we should be able to get to the forge in 10 minutes or even less depending on the patrols all right, a bit. did you drop any epics? Nope. You have to pass through this right side on this ledge over here. But this dog is gonna aggro. The dogs have a little shorter aggro range than this unit. So we're gonna kill this dog. make sure we don't aggro him when we pass okay fairly easy once again no epics <laughs> gonna get rid of my pet now here is a tricky part you have to go stick to your right as much as you can and you have to jump in this edge if you just go around it you're gonna aggro definitely so there you go I did it perfectly just jump and go here and now there is a group of guys that pass patrol this side and one fire guard just to make super sure I mean I could risk it and just run and then faint dead on the other side but I don't want to use faint dead so to prove that any class can do it I'm gonna mark these guys actually let's just give it a shot if we go all the way here um, all right I think we made it these guys keep patrolling and moving around so it's just like a game you just have to mark them and see when is your opportunity to pass so I made it here this little friend goes all the way back so we're gonna make sure he goes all the way back and when we have a chance, always stay away from the dogs. These dogs, they aggro easily. You see, they're basically opening me. Oh shit. Really opening the space to let me pass almost. So we're gonna run for it. I think this should be fine. Now, careful, inside here, there is another group. So when you pass, go to your right. Yeah, there it is and stick to your right they move around a lot too so just stick to your right check the lava, oh pretty cool and then you can pass between these two guys without aggroing them 
All right, you keep running, keep running. Everything good. Now this is getting narrower and narrower the more I move. So I'm gonna get to this point, and these guys I'm gonna aggro for sure. So we need to wait until Lord Insidious is going that way, which is now. I could scatter or trap one, but I'm just gonna do it so to see other classes can do it. So when he's going that way, I just run and jump down here. Boom. I jump and get to the edge here. And we see, you have to be careful with these guys on the lava. Because they are almost invisible when they go inside, you see. So you can target them with tap maybe or whatever targeting hotkey you have assigned. And make sure you don't agree. You can go on this edge on like the border of the wall most of the time. I'll use my cheetah. Actually I'm not, so you see that anybody can do it. Some people jump here, but I don't see the sense. You can just continue here, burning a little bit. Continue, continue. You see me, there is another one here. Let's mark his ass, just to be sure. Okay. And we continue here. get up here now here there is another one that is the one that fuck me I can just I don't see it but I can just with tap I can target it then I can mark it boom it's right there so I saw many people that I'm gonna heal with a bandage jumped here on the right side and jump to the island and then you can stay on the edge of the island because on the top of the island it's just full of fire lords fire guards but I found that it's easier to just stay on the side here, wait for this guy to move to the right side, and just continue running on the left side again on the edge. If you are too low or you don't have that many HP because you're not as geared as, as I am, you're gonna need to use a healing potion. Maybe I will need to use a healing potion too, but I have done it several times without having to use a healing potion. So, you just wait here for this little guy to go away and once it does, I think that's far enough yeah, definitely you just jump and run for it it's good if you keep jumping, I think you burn less and you can get to this place here, but I think you don't burn so if you need to, you can stop here, or you most likely will need to. Stop here and heal again, you already passed that guy. You see that island is full of people. But you can anyway run here and they won't aggro if you are 60, but I don't see the sense. I think this place is safer. So once you're good, you continue your little quest. And you run and you run and you run. And you jump and you run and you jump. Here, most people will have to take maybe a healing potion. If you do, you just can wait for the cooldown. And you got here. And the Black Forge, I'm gonna track elementals just so you can see. There are a couple of elementals above me, so go on this side. And there is one guarding the Black Forge. So we're gonna take care of that one. I guess every class should be able to, to kill that fire elemental on their own way. I'm gonna wait for my bandage. I'm just gonna make sure I kill it for sure for the sake of this video. I can kill it without a freezing trap, but just to make sure I'm gonna kill it with the freezing trap. And let's just go for it. with the crit so this guy should not be a problem. Alright, done. 
Uy, element of fire. Oh no, I should have left it there. Fuck, I fucked up. Mm, well, there is another deposit always there. Oh, actually, it's not now, but it's very risky to get. So, whatever. So, since I got the elemental fire, and I need one space to. Wow, they are so cheap now. 1.74. To put the first dark iron ore when I smelt it. I'm gonna get rid of my arrows. So that's that. 100 dark iron bars. And now we're just gonna make them. I'm gonna pause this video. I started streaming recently, guys. My streaming name is Chikala. Chikala was taken, my normal nickname. So I just added another A at the end, so it's Chikala A. You can watch me if you want. You can follow me, that would be great. If not, that's okay too. So I hope this was as useful for everybody that it was for me. It's really an easy way to make gold. The video, let's see, it's been like 11 minutes, so it can take you 10 minutes or so to do it without explanations. And it's just very simple. You just buy the dark iron ore of the auction house when you see it cheap and then you just come here as I came and and just smelt it man and then you can sell the bars you see right now the bars in my server are 8.6 so it's it's really good gold and I'm gonna get a hundred thank you for watching guys have a nice day take care